Hello and welcome to this new video on my channel Off to Office. Today we are going to talk about searchable drop down list. Most of you, I guess, would be knowing about how to create normal drop down list. So if not, let me quickly show you how. On the screen, there are two types of filter. One is normal. We need to uh, drop down and look for our option by scrolling one by one. And the other one is searchable drop down list. So if we type any keyword here, the drop down filters all the records containing those keywords like this, Eddie Murphy, Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, and so on. If I press M here, it filters accordingly. So let us learn from scratch how you also can do so. So starting with the normal filter, say here in cell B7, I want to be able to create a drop down having the names of these celebrities in column A. How you can do that? I will go to that cell, data menu, data validation, data validation, this one, pick a list and under the source tab, I will select the range. My range will be okay. So this is simple. If this data is around 20 to 25, it's totally fine. But now say if the list is very lengthy, containing 500 such names or 1000 such names, then it will be a hard nut to crack finding these names in the drop down list one by one. So I'll show you how you can create a drop down where you will be able to search with the keywords and the drop down will accordingly filter those data. So I will clear this first. I have typed something J here to check my data. So search, I will search this keyword here and I will search not just in cell A2, but in the entire range F4. Start number I can avoid because by default it is set to one. And now instead of pressing Control shift enter I will press F9 here to check what values is it returning to me. So these are the values Control Z. But that's not gonna serve our purpose as such. We will convert these number to true and false with is number function. So again F9 to check. It's giving me true false Control Z. So now what I will do, I will house this logical test of true and false inside if function. And whenever it encounters a true, I want to be able to return the corresponding positions like one, two, three, four, etc. So here we will use our old school trick of generating sequence of number with the row functions like row One to 25 generated and now I will press control shift enter again I can check what value has it returned now it's returning me 9 12 14 20 positions of all the matches I will press control Z now I just need to segregate these matches which is giving me numbers to positions first second and so on we can do this with small function small my array will be this one and my Kth position will be first time I want one then two then three like this I will use rows function I'm sitting on f2 so I'll press f2 and press f4 and f2 to f2 it will give me one on first occasion then two when it is dragged below I will press Control shift enter So you can see you have found all the matches you just need to now you just need to extract these names with the index function where my array will be this to this and my row number will be these numbers that i have extracted and press Control shift enter to get rid of this error value i can wrap it inside if error function if it is an error i want to be able to return a uh, an empty string and press Control shift enter 
I want to count the number of matches. If I use count a function here, I can show you it won't be able to correctly count count a it number of cells in a range that are not empty. So let me try this. It is not able to do it because it is counting these empty string also. So I will use a different way which is full proof. So I will use count a function and my range will be and my criteria will be I'm looking for something which will be represented by these wild cards. So now you can see it has gone correctly. Uh, now I just need to define a name referring to the range of matching data. So I want to refer to this range. So I will start from here and lock it. Now index function is a very special function. In general, it returns us the value of the cell referenced by us. But when it sits behind a colon sign, it will rather refer to a cell reference and not the value in that cell. So I'm trying to refer to this range and my row number will be this five. I can create a count if here, count if There's no, there's only one column, so I can leave it to here also. Now we have created a named range with index function. Now I will copy this formula. And with the, this formula, I will create a named range. Formulas, define name, say index drop down range and paste that formula and to check if it is really working I will go to again formula name manager this one is created by me index and press this icon this is referring to these four or five I will close it again and I change something else change it with something else and again check if it is working yes this time only four data so now we are almost done now with the help of this we are going to create a data validation data validation data validation list and the source data I will press F3 index drop down range that's it. Now, if I press chat here and click to this drop down button, sorry, there's one more thing that I need to take care of is this stop error function. We can correct it by going to data validation option and we will prevent this error alert. Now, if I press chat here, and press drop down see Cameroon Diaz and Arnold Schwarzenegger has been filtered if I press S all the names that contains the character S will be filtered so that's it in this video I hope you like the content if so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications of all new videos on this channel thanks for watching